spin around, spin around. Psychologist William Marston. So apparently he was a polyamorous and he was part of a sex cult. Mm -hmm. And that's how he came up with the mm -hmm. idea of Wonder that's Woman. That's why she's um, sort of, you know. Undressed, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> scantily clad. But this is like in the, in the 40s. American flag. So this guy, so I actually looked it up, and the Atlantic dot com had a whole feature on the hidden uh, history of Wonder Woman. So apparently, yeah, uh, the creator he wasn't exactly a feminist, and clearly he, they say he was clearly a racist mm -hmm. uh, when he created the character. But it was built on women empowering and pro queer ideals. What he was doing was banging two chicks, basically, is, is what he was doing. And he right. created the ultimate female like empowerment icon. So he was, you know, he was a progressive. <laughs> he was, is Wonder Woman feminist? Yes, the Amazon princess is often seen as I an icon of female empowerment, but she also wears that swimsuit and the original comics from well, the 40s. Well, everything is kind of twisted, isn't it? Yeah. Because you got this really great feminist icon that was... You know, devised by this this kind of unenlightened racist, uh, you yeah. know, sex, you know, sex ab addict, right? Yeah. That is ingrained. It's in the, it's in the DNA of this stuff. Yeah. And that's the that's what the the the, the panic of the corrective panic is all about because a mm. lot of the stuff, the foundation of the stuff, is mixed very badly. Yeah. I mean, it's so funny. So Jill Lepore's just released Secret. No, ju not just released. It's been out for a few years now, but apparently didn't few do very years, well. Really? Oh. 2014, no. The Secret History of Wonder Woman. Ah. Um, where she addresses the fact that psychologist William Marston and his family um, were actually, he was a polyamorist who had children by both his wife and his live-in lover and former graduate student. And apparently they well were in like done. a sex cult. They were doing... Well done. I mean... Did they kill people? They didn't kill people. Oh. Um, Lepore described... so in there. <laughs> Huntley, Byrne, Holloway, and Marston. So there's even more. There's like more people that were part of... Marjorie Holloway was an... Oh, so... My God, he had... He was just... What a what a guy! Yeah, nineteen forty. And, and you got this other thing, you know. You got this. The, you got oh, Wonder clearly Woman. Clearly, I am highly jealous of this. You got Wonder Woman. Well, uh, and he created Wonder Woman. Like Jesus Christmas! Uh, like terrible. he just did everything. That's terrible. But you got Wonder Woman on the other side, which is really Love positive. You, uh, you know, icon, right? Which, yeah. which was everybody, you know, young women all over the place are imbuing all their hopes and dreams in there, and it has these origins. Yeah. These really yeah. questionable so, origins. Huntley, Byrne, Holloway, and Marston all participated in what Laporte describes as a sex cult in 1925 to 26. So, I mean, holy yeah, cow. Up on this At the thing. home of Marston's Aunt Carolyn. Good old Aunt Carolyn. Just hosting those sex parties. She's, I wonder, you know, yeah. she's a very understanding woman. Participants celebrated female she sexual power, dominance, submission, and love by and love by forming love units consisting of multiple partners. We, we get the the intricacies of this. You're you're kind of hung up on that. I really am hung up on this. So you don't I'm, really I'm want to discuss the duality of this stuff. You just want to talk about the sex cult. If